Hello guys, Oscar Hotel 8, Sierra Tango November here from Survival Tech Nord. Last week I spent a couple of days out with the new Chameleon Impos 2.0. I went to one of my favorite local spots about 10 clicks away. I set up the TP tent, the Chameleon Impos, and the Yezu FT891. And I thought I'll make a short video and show you what the new MPAS is all about. So stick with me, and I'll tell you all about it. You are listening to the emergency broadcast systems. This station broadcasts emergency news and official information on the air for a sign there. Just like the original MPAS from Chameleon Antenna, this is a rapid deployment, easy to deploy antenna system. So the system is made up of a few different components, and I'm just going to go through what they sent. First, we have the MIL WIP 2.0. Then we have the MIL EXT or Extension 2.0. We have the latest version of the Chameleon Hybrid Micro. And we have the Spike. So maybe we'll just do a component breakdown and look at the differences between the original and the 2.0. The original mill whip was made of aluminium. It had five sections. It was 27.5 inches uh, or 700 millimeters per section. And it had a total length of 131.3 inches or 333.5 centimeters. Its total weight was nine ounces or 253 grams. So it had longer sections, making it less compact, but it was much lighter than the 2.0. In contrast, the Mill Whip 2.0 is made of brass. It has seven sections. Uh, the length of each section collapsed is 16.9 inches or 430 millimeters. Uh, the total length is 113 inches or 287 centimeters. Total weight 12 ounces, 342 grams. Uh, it's got shorter sections, it's more compact, and it's more robust. So moving on to the mill extension, the original mill EXT uh, was made of aluminum. It had three sections. Uh, the length when collapsed was 26.57 inches or 675 millimeters. Total length 79.13 inches or 201 centimeters. Its weight is 15.7 ounces or 446 grams. In contrast, the Mill EXT 2.0 is aluminum. It's made of four sections. Its length when collapsed is 28.15 inches or 715 millimeters. Its total length 105.5 inches or 268 centimeters. Its weight 1 pound 12 ounces or 804 grams. Now the Chameleon Hybrid Micro has also received an update. Now looking at the Hybrid Micro from the outside, the only thing we'd really notice would be the uh, top plate. Internally, Chameleon Antenna has replaced the Unun from the Hybrid Micro with the updated Unun from the MCOM3 Portable. Now you'll probably remember my video on the MCOM3 Portable because I was operating Portable in Lapland above the Arctic Circle and I had a digital mode QSO with a station from Japan. So without any doubt, we know that antenna system is working and now the Hybrid Micro has been updated to mimic it. What this means is since the Hybrid Micro can be used with the mill whip or the long wire, the system now has both systems built in. It has the MPAS and the MCOM3 portable all in one modular system. So in terms of configuration possibilities, it would definitely be safe to say this antenna system is the best of both worlds. Now here we have a side-by-side -side comparison of the Mill Whip 2.0 on top of the Hybrid Micro and the Mill Extension 2.0. We can immediately see that the Mill Whip 2.0 on top of the Mill EXT 2.0 is far more rigid than the original uh, mill whip and mill whip extension. Now I'm only speculating, but I have a good idea why this was done. One of the major complaints over the years with the mill whip and the mill whip extension were the breakdown size. 
That means the size when collapsed. The Mill Whip 2.0 has a much smaller collapsed or broken down size. To achieve this, they've increased the number of sections of the whip. The more sections you add to the whip, the more flexible it's going to be. So in order to maintain the rigidity, stiffness, and robustness of the system, wall thickness and material needed to be changed to maintain its robustness in the field. So before we move on, let's take a look at everything they actually sent me. So here we have the Mill Whip 2.0. We have the Mill Extension 2.0. We have the Hybrid Micro 2.0, along with its wire element and counterpoise. So pros and cons of these new components? Well, to be perfectly honest, I wish the Mill EXT would have been a smaller or shorter collapsed size. The Mill Whip 2.0 is absolutely magnificent. It's completely made of brass and it has an extremely small collapsed size, yet maintains its rigidity. Also, since it's brass, the new Mill Whip 2.0 can stay prolonged times out in the field without any maintenance. This in itself is reason enough to upgrade from the original Mill Whip to the Mill Whip 2.0. The Hybrid Micro has the upgrade from the MCOM 3 Portable, which is magnificent. We know that works. Now, I've almost forgotten to mention the Chameleon Spike. The Spike has gotten its own update as well. If you remember, the original spike had a blunt end, and many of the complaints about the spike were that forcing it into the ground made it go in at an angle. I've also experienced this problem myself. The new spike, or the latest spike, has a sharpened conical edge. So when pushed into the ground, it's going to go in at the angle you actually push it in. This might be a small update, but it's one of those little things that alleviates frustrations when you're out in the field. So, in regards to the Hybrid Micro 2.0 and the Mill Whip 2.0, excellent work, and I think Chameleon is listening to its customers. For the Mill EXT, I'd like to see one which is perhaps brass, even if it's a little heavier, with a shorter collapsed size. Now, over the years, we've seen Chameleon adapt to customers' needs. The Hybrid Micro, the Mill Whip, the Mill EXT. But one of the problems I have in the field is the amount of equipment I need to carry to support my radio and my antenna. So one of my goals in regards to field communications is to get rid of the tuner. Certainly, a radio with an internal tuner built in is great and it works very well with broadband antennas. However, an external antenna tuner is something that just increases the complexity of my station as well as the amount of gear I need to carry. So since Chameleon is doing so much work on these type of portable antennas, I wish that they would make a quarter wave vertical using the Mill Whip 2.0, the Mill EXT 2.0, and perhaps come up with some coils to load up those whips. I'd also like to see a one-to-one -one choke bell inversion of the hybrid micro. I think these three things combined would make an excellent evolution to an already excellent product. So now it's time to talk about performance. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I spent a couple of days out in the field in the TB tent and I did some whisper testing, and I also did some JS8 testing with this antenna system. Now, propagation has been up and down. We've had some really good propagation over the past few days, though. So I was able to get some pretty decent results with whisper. As you all know already, whisper is not going to tell us anything about our ability to have a QSO with this antenna. But it does let us compare this antenna to other antennas we might have or our reference antenna. So, operating at 5 watts against my reference antenna, the Chameleon Impulse was down slightly on 20 and 40 meters. When running it as a vertical with both the Mill Whip 2.0 and the Mill EXT 2.0. When running it as a long wire, it was almost indistinguishable for the long wire I run at home for my station. So this is something we already know and expect. There is no comparison between a long wire and a shortened vertical. 
but we're often willing to take the hit because the vertical is easier to set up, it's easier to carry, and so on. So, for maximum performance, use it in the wire mode. For convenience, use it with the Mil EXT and the Mil Whip 2.0. Now, although I like to use Whisper for antenna comparisons, I think the best way we can test our antennas and radios is using the same mode we would normally be using when we're out in the field. Now, these days I'm almost exclusively using JS8 and JS8 Call on a Raspberry Pi. So naturally, you should be interested in the results I'm getting with JS8 Call with this antenna system. Now, for those following along through Patreon or Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, you've probably seen these images already. But I thought they'd also make a nice addition to this video. Now, for the days I've been testing this antenna, I've been operating 40 meters 24-7, with the goal of getting my signals into the United States or Canada, actually any place outside Europe, and having QSOs. Now this is already challenging with the long wire antenna and 50 watts out of the FT891 I use at home. So I wasn't expecting much with a shortened vertical portable antenna. But during my testing I actually found that these three components combined performed better than I expected they would. So what can I say about these three new updates? The Chameleon Mill Whip, the Chameleon Mill EXT, and the new Hybrid Micro 2.0. Well, if we first talk about them individually, starting with the Mill Whip, the Mill Whip is actually magnificent. It's made entirely of brass, and I think not only is it a good addition to the Impos if Chameleon decides to continue it, it's also an excellent update to other antenna systems needing a collapsible whip antenna. Regarding the Mill EXT or the Mill Extension, I'm kind of conflicted. Now, on the one hand, I love that it's four sections and it's longer. On the other hand, I wish the breakdown size was smaller or shorter. Even so, I still think it's a good update over the original Mill EXT. In regards to the Hybrid Micro, I'm really excited about the new Balan. If the new Balan works as good as the Balan in the uh, MCOM 3 Portable, then when using the wire antenna, this is going to be an absolute performer. But like everything on this channel, we won't know that uh, until we spend some time with it. Now let's take a moment to talk about the Hybrid Micro, the Mill EXT, and the Mill Whip as a system. Now these three components as a system perform well between 30 meters and 10 meters. On 40 meters, the performance is acceptable. On 80 meters, of course, it degrades. And this is completely expected for a shortened vertical whip. Now we're willing to accept this performance because of the convenience we get from deployment and ease of carrying and so on. Now where we get insane performance is when we're using the Hybrid Micro 2.0 with the long wire. This is again totally expected because, well, you simply can't uh, compare the performance of a long wire with a shortened vertical whip. This is that best of both worlds we talked about earlier. And this is that Lego block approach to antenna systems that Chameleon seems to be so good at implementing. All right, guys, I've left a lot of information on oh8stn.org for you about this antenna and other topics. Please be sure to check those out with the link in the description. Also, don't forget to check out 100 Watts in a Wire, where from time to time my a guest host with Christian, Kilo Zero Sierra Tango Hotel, where we discuss off-grid, grid down, and portable communications. And finally, a huge thanks to Chameleon Antenna for believing and supporting the channel and sending all this gear out overseas for review. If you're supporting the channel through Patreon, PayPal, or simply sharing my content, you're absolutely magnificent, and I couldn't do it without you. For the rest of you, if you like what I'm doing, if you like the content I'm creating, consider leaving me a comment and a thumbs up to let me know. And if it's not too much to ask, share this video with someone or someplace where other operators might enjoy it. Rock and roll, guys. Thanks for watching. Ciao.